evening everyone good evening everyone it's me ace back with another video and today we are this is what i've been working on for the past oh boy it's been a few months i think i started this in november it's been a long time so this is what i've been working on so whenever i'm not uploading i'm working on this and i finally got it to where my liking is this is the la gemma sulla strada which is Italian for the gem on the road. The model name is um, Lasso di Guida, so Italian for the driving ace. Yes, so it's the driving, it's the driving ace gem on the road in a English. But enough rambling. Let's get into this. And I picked Italian names is because well, I'm so, partially Italian as you can and see, the car gold has a lot of Italian. Italian I couldn't find in square so I used the bu buttons. And then we do have a gold on the side here on the mirror. And then we've got steerable wheels here. Those were pretty and hard to make. And then we got a little door that it. opens up and then this now the real car there'd be like um uh it was labels just and stuff compact, but those I couldn't get that in there because this thing is surprisingly this thing is humongous like compared to one of my 124 scales yeah this thing was freakishly large i just large, bought a cadillac so, el boritz yeah. and so it's almost as long as that charge port it's a the fact electric, that my hand can also fit in the wheelbase of this thing vehicle. definitely in shows life, how large this thing it is would be as long as a chevrolet suburban Maybe just a stitch longer. I forgot how long they actually are, but all I know is they're 224.4 inches long. I edit. Let's go to the front. And as you can see, I have a logo. And this is why I call it the gem on the road. I mean, I got a diamond here, a diamond here, and then I got a diamond on the back and a diamond in the car. So we got... The headlights and the gem. That's our big logo. I meant hood ornament. We open this up and we've got space for a computer and a bag up front. And then this is the engine right here and navigation. And then underneath this we have some other technology in there. But I'm not going to show that because it's a pain. And we've got lights that actually light up on the real vehicle. These would light up and do a cool pattern as you drive. Just to give it that extra sleek and fanciness of your luxury vehicle. Now this thing is longer than a Rolls Royce Phantom. And those things... Which is 227.2 inches long. And got multicolored blinkers and stuff here. They light up when you drive. And we got another mirror. And then we've got uh, a status check over here, so... I have a lot more status checks in this car, so that's only half, not even half of it. So let's open, oh, so the real vehicle, you can use your thumb and unlock it to get in, or you can just put your key up there, it doesn't really matter, or you can put a keyhole, it doesn't matter, it's all in what you choose. This car would end up costing you about a big whopping $545,000. Depending on the features, this one would cost about uh eight hundred eight hundred and forty five thousand dollars. But you're getting what you pay for. All the features it has, but the base or the base is uh that is at about forty five thousand dollars. So pretty standard. You still get a lot of nice stuff in there, and then you got the familia, the familia. Which is, um, I think it's 50000 57000 I'll go into the price a little later. But here's the inside. We got the nice chauffeur. And the seats do recline. Hold up. Like, you can push it back and forth and all that. Steering wheel's adjustable. And you've got buttons and stuff. Hold on, let me pop the roof here. Okay, I'm back. So this is the interior of the vehicle. As you can see, this is the four-seat model, and you've got me in the back on the phone and my laptop on the table. 
which is trying to fall off. We don't want that. And um, in here we've got an opening glove box. Oh, okay, this guy, you gotta go. So we got an opening glove box for like whatever. Like, I don't know. Well, center console, I mean. And then you can also, uh, hold on. You can open the screen up so you can, like, put your phone in where it will charge and put stuff in there. Like, here, I'll take this little remote and we'll, oops, slide it up all up in there. There we go. It just goes right in there and you can close it all up. Okay, then. It's being a little finicky right now. There we go. Got that down. You can close the glove box. And then this. Let's go to the back seat where you can uh, open this up. Open the back door where you got yourself tables and some controls. I'm gonna take your laptop out. And you do have another compartment that does open up with another wine glass. And then we're probably like, where's all the like the champagne and stuff? Right here. Fold that up backwards, and there it is, all up in there. And just talking on the phone. My drink there. And then this folds up, folds as well. I thought of all kinds of crazy stuff in here. Okay, there we go. So if you want to like massage or something, you fold that. And it's a little finicky, but this is very nice. Very nice. The back seats do recline as well. I don't know what that was. Probably my brother. And then the these fold out to you as well. I put a lot of detail in this. I've been working on this since November. And yesterday I spent over seven hours redesigning this. Because it is completely different than when I did the crash test. And this car has a panoramic roof. I didn't ever show it off, but uh, here, let me pop the roof right back on here and I'll show you guys. Okay, fold that. Yep, it's a panoramic roof that's tinted. Okay, fold the windshield back. Check. And this thing is long. Like, I'm going to set my hand right there, and my hand fits in the wheelbase of this car. And then we'll open the tr and we'll go to the rear end here. And we've got a lot of tail lights. Another gem, that's what I was talking about. We got the blinkers, more tail lights. We'll pop this open. And you've got some speakers and controls. And this pops off. So and then you push a button and these will fold to you so you can check the stats. And I'm having technical difficulties with this one. There we go. But yeah, I spent about seven hours on this yesterday. My legs ki hated me. And, oh shoot. Oh, another cool feature is, uh, I have a drive shaft on this car. So, I'm going to spin the back wheels. And we got a spinning drive shaft. And we got a full-on frame here. So... Which makes this car extra strong. And more blue lights and stuff. And yeah, that is the Lasso de Guida. La Gemma Sulastrada. Be sure you guys leave a like.